Welcome back, first grade. If you are either in Miss Finney's class or Miss Kelly's class, then you're in the right spot because it's time for math. Let's get right into our materials that we'll need for today. Just like last week, you'll need a piece of paper, you'll need a pencil, and of course, that brain so we can continue putting more knowledge into that brain. If you need to pause the video right now so that you can grab your materials, go ahead and do so. Hit play when you are all ready to go. Great job, you all have your materials right now, so let's get right into our application problem. For your application problem today, please make sure that you draw a picture with labels, you write a number sentence, and you also have a statement. If you need to hear Miss Finney repeat the problem again, you can rewind the video. All right, get those listening ears on. Hayden has 15 Gucci belts. He gives seven Gucci belts to Alonzo. How many Gucci belts does Hayden still have? Hayden still has, hmm, Gucci belts. All right, friends, get your pencils up. Now is a great time to pause the video. When you're all finished, hit that play button so I know you're finished. Good luck. Woo, you all just worked extra, extra hard. If you did not finish with that application problem though, hit that pause button because we're about to go over how you solve the problem. If you finished with your application problem, great job. We're gonna start to go over it right now. All right, friends. Now, we know our problem was all about Hayden and Hayden had some Gucci belts. He did something with those Gucci belts though. He gave some of those Gucci belts to Alonzo. Well, in our story, it's asking us to figure out how many Gucci belts Hayden still has now that he gave some to Alonzo. So we're gonna figure that out right now. Now, we know how many Gucci belts that Hayden had in all. He had 15 Gucci belts. He didn't have any more than 15, so we know that that's our whole. In my number bond, I wrote a 15. I'm gonna write the label H to stand for Hayden so that I know that Hayden had 15 Gucci belts. Well, then he did something to those Gucci belts, remember? Yeah, he gave those Gucci belts away. He gave some to Alonzo. Do we know how many he gave to Alonzo? Yeah, we do. He gave seven Gucci belts to Alonzo. He's so nice. So in my number bond, I'm gonna write that he gave seven to Alonzo. I used the label a for Alonzo so that I know how many that he had given to Alonzo. Now, the part that we're trying to figure out is how many Gucci belts Hayden still has. I'm gonna use the label S to stand for still has. Now, now that I have these, I can figure out how to use those to help me with my tape diagram. All right, I know my hole, so I'm gonna start out by drawing that out in my tape diagram. Do you all think you can help me count? Okay. All right, let's count to 15. Count with me loud and proud, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo! 15 is Hayden's hole. 15 is the most Gucci belts that he has. I'm putting a 15 and I'm also labeling it an H because I know that Hayden has 15 Gucci belts. All right, friends, now I'm gonna go in to here. I know that he gave some of his Gucci belts to Alonzo. He gave seven of them to Alonzo. So I'm gonna color in seven. Can you count with me? All right, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He gave seven to Alonzo. Now, we need to figure out how many he still has. Can we count together to see how many he still has? All right, count with me. I want to hear you louder this time. All right, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> how many Gucci belts does Hayden still have? Did you just say eight? Way to go. Hayden still has eight Gucci belts. Woo, I filled that in. Notice Miss Finney has a nice mystery box because that's the number I didn't know. Ooh, over in my number bottom, also filling in that he had H 
Gucci belt still. Oof, now I need my number sentence. I know that Hayden started with 15, and he gave some away. Well, if he gave some of his Gucci belts away, I know that his number is going to get smaller because he gave them away. He didn't get any more. So, because I know that he gave some away, we're going to use subtraction, not addition. I know Hayden started with 15 Gucci belts. He gave seven to Alonza, and he still has eight Gucci belts. Again, notice Miss Finney put her labels. I also put a mystery box around that number I didn't know. Now I need my last part, which is my statement. Hayden still has hmm? Gucci belts. Well, how many Gucci belts does he still have? Did you say eight? You're so right. Hayden still has eight Gucci belts. Whew, that was a lot of hard work, friends. Now is a great time to pause the video, check your work with mine. Once you're finished checking your work, go ahead and hit that play button when you're all ready to go. Way to go, first grade. You just finished your application problem. Now we're going to get right into our learning for today. Today, you guys are going to be able to represent numbers within 120. So you got a lot of practice last time counting all the way to 120, but this time you're going to represent numbers through 120 by using tens and ones in a place value chart. You all have seen a place value chart before, and you've also used your tens and ones to break a number down into tens and ones. Today, you're going to get a lot of practice breaking those numbers up into tens and ones. Now, before we start, friends, just like I said, we're going to be counting our numbers into tens and ones. We're also going to be using what's called counting, like efficient counting strategies. When we use efficient counting strategies, remember that means that we're moving fast and we're also moving and we're correct. Our answer is correct. We're using efficient counting strategies because that's going to help us count our numbers a lot faster and we're going to be so right whenever we count those uh, cubes up today. So I have a challenge for you all. I'm going to give you guys a picture on the screen that's going to have cubes on the screen. I want you to count those cubes as fast as you can. Do you think you can do it? Okay. Once you're finished counting those cubes, I want you to shout out how many cubes there are. So if you count 20 cubes, say 20. If you count 80 cubes, say 80. I want you all to count the cubes as fast as you can. Are you ready? Okay. Go ahead and count. Woo! First grade. How many cubes did you all count? Wait, one more time. Did you say 100? Way to go, first grade. There are 100 cubes. Now, you know Miss Finney loves a good challenge. So I have a challenge. All right, friends. I'm going to show you some more cubes. And this time, I want to see if you can count it faster than you counted these ones. Are you ready? Okay. Go ahead and count those cubes, first grade. Whoa, you guys counted that a lot faster. How many cubes do you have this time, friends? 100? Whoa, wait, 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 wait. You all counted these super, super fast. And there were 100, there were 100 cubes. But when I showed you the other cubes, you guys counted it a little bit slower. Huh, I wonder why you guys were able to count this so quickly. <gasps> wait, oh, so you could count it quickly because it was in five groups. So you knew that there were five tens over here and there were five tens over here. And you know five plus five is 10 and 10 tens is 100? Whoa, that's a really cool strategy to figure that out. Whoa, so you could count five, 10, 100. Whoa, that's really quick. Whoa, now we can double check over here. I know that there's five tens here and there's five tens over here. So together, there's 10 tens. I can write this in my place value chart down below. 
I know that I have 10 tens in my picture. When I look, I don't have any one, so I'm gonna put a zero. I know that 10 tens and zero ones is the same as 100. What's really cool about counting really efficiently is that if I see stuff that's in a five group, I can count that quickly. Now, I can use what I know to know that I can say, oh, there's five tens, there's five tens here, that makes 10 tens. That can help me count my cubes a lot faster. Now, I could have counted like this, one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, eight tens, nine tens, 10 tens. <sighs> but I'm really tired now, and that took me a lot longer. But using an efficient counting strategy, I can see that there's five tens here and five tens here. I know that five tens plus five tens is 10 tens. That made it a lot faster for me to count. Today, you all are gonna get some practice counting up your tens really, really fast. All right, friends, are you ready for another example? Yeah? Okay, we're gonna do this one together. All right, get ready. Whew. Just like I said, we're gonna do this together. Hmm. Does anyone see something that could help us count this really fast? Oh, you see that this picture is in five groups too? Ooh, this over here is in a five group, and this over here is in a five group. Then we have some that are off to the side. Ooh, let's take a look. There's five tens here and five tens here. What's five tens plus five tens? 10 tens, you got it. But we can't forget the other tens that we have on the side. So right here makes 10 tens, 11 tens, and 12 tens. How many tens do we have in our picture? <gasps> Did you say 12? Let's double check our place value chart. Yes, we have 12 tens in our picture. <gasps> How many ones do we have in our picture? Zero. Of course, we don't have any ones in our picture. So in our place value chart, we'll write a zero. Twelve tens and zero ones is the same as 120. So if I were to count all of these cubes up, I would have 120. I don't have to count them one, two, three, four individually because I can count by tens and use efficient counting strategies to help me count that fast. All right, friends, you did such an amazing job. I'm gonna give you one last problem. This time, I want you to try this one on your own. Now, when you try it on your own, all I want to see is a place value chart with your tens and your ones, and then what, how many cubes that you have, just like Miss Finney has right here on the bottom of her screen. You don't need to draw your cubes out. I just want to see a place value chart and how many cubes that you have. Are you all ready for your practice problem? All right, get ready. Okay, first grade, here are your cubes. I want you to get started counting up those cubes. Fill out that place value chart. Tell me how many cubes you have in all and then hit that play button so I know you're ready. Now's a great time to pause and then I can tell you if you are correct with your answer. Go ahead and hit that pause button until you're ready. Whew. You all worked so hard. If you press that play button, that means that you're all finished trying out this problem. If you're not done, hit that pause button until you're all finished. All right, friends, let's take a look at our picture up on the screen. If we take a look at our picture up on the screen, there's a lot of tens up there, and I might even see some ones. Let's see. A really efficient counting strategy that we learned today was that if your picture is in five groups, you can count that quickly. Ooh, is our picture in five groups? It sure is. There's five tens up here and five tens here. What's five tens plus five tens? Yeah, ten tens. Are those all of our tens? No, we still have another 10 over here. Well, so far we have 10 tens, 
plus another 10, what's 10 plus one? <gasps> 11. So in our picture, we have 11 tens. Do we have any more than 11 tens? No. So in our place value chart, we would write 11 tens because we have 11 groups of 10. Just like Miss Finney has in her place value chart. Do we have any ones in our picture? Yeah, remember your ones are all by themselves. They're not in a long stick or group of 10. Let's count up to see how many ones we have. Can you count with me? All right, follow along on the screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many ones do we have, friends? Nine. So in my place value chart, I wrote that we have nine ones. So, 11 tens and 9 ones, what number is that the same as? Did you say 119? Whew, you're so amazing. 11 tens and 9 ones are the same as 119. That means if I were to count all of these up, I have 119 cubes. Pretty cool, right? <sighs> wow. You guys did such an amazing job. You were able to count up numbers all the way through 120, and you represented them by using tens and ones. You guys did such a great job. Now it's gonna be your turn. I'm gonna put your problem set up in just a moment. You can pick a couple problems that you wanna show your teacher, and then you can get them started. Are you guys ready to see our problem set for today? All right, let's get right into it. Okay, first grade. Here's your problem set for today. The directions say, count the objects, fill in the place value chart, and write the number on the line, just like we did for our practice just now. You can do all of the problems, or you can pick a couple so that you can show your work to your teacher at the end of the day. Remember, once you're finished with all of your work at the end of the day, take a picture of your work, so that you can either email it to your teacher, send it on Remind, or send it on Seesaw. You can do either one of those things to send your work. You did such an amazing job, first grade. I'll see you all next time. Bye.